For the past three days, the largest gathering of politically engaged evangelicals has been taking place at the Faith and Freedom Conference in Atlanta. One America's John Hines was there and has more on the event ahead of November's election. About two thirds of the vote for president this November will likely come from Christian evangelicals and Catholics, making this year's Faith and Freedom Conference featuring messages from a lineup of lawmakers and conservative thought leaders crucial in motivating a key conservative voting bloc to engage in the political process and vote in November. I want them to know how much their voice matters. I want them to know that faith is not something to be made fun of. As the Democrats are attacking Amy Coney Barrett for her faith, let's remember that our founders had a very strong uh, passion for religious liberties. And for us to be able to express our faith, that's how we came into being in many ways. So I just want them to, to stand proud. I want them to have their faith. I want them to express that faith and be able to make good decisions and going forward and encourage others to be a part of the electoral process. And we're in a war. We're in a political war right now that's for the future of our nation. And, and these are some of the frontline fighters uh, uh, that's going to preserve America and that's that's our message is now is the time to stand to stand up and what's the reason things are just in such upheaval in America is not because all of a sudden the left is trying to take our liberties. They've been doing it for uh, a couple of decades. And other than just some symbolic opposition, we have never stood unified and said no longer. And that's what you're seeing happen in the last three years. Our country is on the line. And we know that our Judeo-Christian values are on the line. And so therefore, many of the churches in Western North Carolina are politically involved. They're willing to come out and speak on things that you know might, might, might make some people uncomfortable. Uh, and I think that's something that the church as a whole needs to really grasp onto because for too long the church has said, I'm just going to sit back and let culture do what it does. I'm not of this world. I'm of another world. But we are called to be in this world. We are called to shape it, to be stewards of it. And so because of that, I, I'm, I want to have an active role. In well, my message here is that my faith is strong. Secondly, I'm a big supporter of Donald Trump, uh, primarily because he gets results. And those people that are here today, we're supporters of his because he stands strong on faith. He stands strong on our liberty, and our civil, civil liberties in our, our Constitution. Uh, but more importantly, uh, this country is at a crossroad between chaos and community. And Donald Trump is about law and order. He's about getting us through this pandemic, getting us back to what we were prior to the pandemic with job opportunities and the new investments. And we need him uh, far more than we need someone like a Joe Biden. John Hines at the Faith and Freedom Road to Majority Conference in Atlanta. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.